appreciated the intro I'm not sure that the neighbors did but uh, I know it didn't look that hardcore but it was actually uh, we had to enter over that big huge snow bank over there it was arguably at least five feet tall four or five feet tall so um, this thing's a beast either way and I had it in the mountains of Colorado and I can verify it so wanted to walk you guys through my five favorite things about the truck thus far we do have 4,262 miles on it um, so I think at this point I do have enough miles to be able to do this type of video and talk about You know what I like about it, it wasn't just 4,000 miles in Chicago most of the mileage was uh, You know on the recent road trip to Colorado um, So it's about a thousand miles each way to get to Denver and then we were in the mountains uh, up in Beaver Creek and Vale, which is another uh, You know 150 to 200 miles from Denver. So overall, I think when we left on the trip we had just over 1500 miles and we got back just over 4,000 miles so um, we put some miles on it and uh, had it at different altitudes all the way up to 14,000 feet and I think this thing went great so to start off on my list of um, you know the five things that I absolutely love about the 2018 Dodge Ram Laramie Crew Cab Sport Cummins four-wheel drive um, but number one on my list is absolutely the Cummins engine um, and not to shit on the guys with the V8 out there. I had the, the 392 in the Jeep, it's a great motor. Um, but once again, I think if you're towing anything or doing anything serious, in my opinion, um, you're having a diesel. So from a towing perspective, once again. So I think this thing has literally almost twice the, the torque that the, the gas engine has. So, um, and what that allows us to do is also get good gas mileage. So as you can see here, I'm gonna kind of flip through this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure. So this is since we bought the truck. Keep in mind, we've been driving four wheel drive on the way back out. Um, but when we were in the mountains, we were averaging, it was at almost 20 miles to the gallon. But the problem is on the way back, we ran into some crazy weather. <laughs> the weather we have here right now, the freezer ran in snow. Uh, so we had this thing in four-wheel drive for probably, arguably, I would say the last almost week now. So that's killed the mileage, but uh, when we were out there uh, and on the way out and using the, the diesel exhaust brake, etc., uh, we were averaging just under 20 miles to the gallon, and this is a completely stock, non-tuned, you know, not deleted truck. So um, once again, things that I like about it, uh, cruise control in the mountains, the diesel exhaust brake. Uh, Basically, with all that torque, this thing just allows you to be at 1200 RPM going up uh, the Rocky Mountains, literally in Colorado, going up uh, I-70 towards the Eisenhower Tunnel, you know, whatever, you know, 12, 14,000 feet, and this thing was not even breaking a sweat, so it's, the engine's unbelievable. Um, it, it, you know, the downfall is when it's in two-wheel drive, it's a little too torquey, and it, it tends to, you know, in rain and slick conditions, break the tires loose pretty easily. But whatever, you just put in four-wheel drive. So um, let me grab my phone real quick here. Um, <laughs> people are probably looking at us. So, and we will take off in a second here. But um, kind of wanted to focus on uh, the things that were in the car. So uh, next up, uh, I really like the looks of the vehicle. So 
Um, I don't need to get out. You guys have seen it enough at this point. But what I mean by the looks of the vehicle is I really like uh, the fact that I got the sport package. Um, when what that gets us is the body matched, uh, you know, bumpers and trim and things like that. So there's no chrome on this vehicle. So it's not an old man's truck, as you can tell. Um, you know, I just... Uh, I just think it looks badass, especially with the pearl paint. So it's a little bit different than the Jeep, which had the super bright white or bright white, whatever they called it, which is also available on these trucks. But the pearl uh, is an upgrade, believe it or not. Um, and it looks dope because it changes colors, you know, depending on which, uh, you know, how much sunlight it gets, etc., and how light is light it is outside. So um, that's also what I like about it. I also like in the interior how it isn't the cowboy package. And it's just straight up kind of modern, you know, black and white. None of the uh, two-toned or the stitching or the, the tans or the creams, things like that. It's got the, uh, the stitch dash. It's got the, uh, just all the good looking stuff, uh, interior and exterior. So, um, overall, uh, super psyched with the looks. Uh, next up on the list, let's see here. Or the amenities, I think uh, for sure the amenities, that makes sense to me. So some of the things that I'm talking about are the fact that it's got uh, heated and cooled seats for passenger um, and driver in the front. It also has, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has heated seats in the back as well. Not cooled, but heated, um, which is pretty dope. It also has the heated steering wheel, um, which is also accessible. You know, if you've got a controls right here, you can see heated wheel. Um, passenger, driver, vented seats. Uh, it's got the backup cameras, obviously, which are cool, but it also has the two cameras. This is an option. Um, so it's got also got the one if you're towing shit or have stuff in the bed. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, outside of that, it's obviously got the series, satellite radio, all the stuff that you'd expect with, you know, expect with the modern Uconnect, climate control. It's got, once again, all the, all, all the stuff that you would expect. I'm not a car reviewer, so not going to run through this, but it's got all the apps, you know, all the, all the cool stuff with Uconnect that you would get. Um, you know, the uh, 911 services up there, uh, travel link, um, you can access this everything, the camera. This is kind of just like your, I guess, your main screen on your iPhone or your, your Android, but um, obviously you got Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay, which I love Apple CarPlay for the record. Um, navigation's really nice in the uh, in the Uconnect or the, the Chrysler vehicles. vehicles. Um, it's got the four wheel drive, the two wheel drive. It's got the auto lights over here, which are cool. It's got the uh, power folding mirrors, which are dope, um, especially with the truck when they stick out this big and you're in the city areas, downtown, etc., and trying to go through alleys. Um, so that works out real good. Um, I'm trying to think of what else it's got here. It's got a sunroof, which is a pretty expensive option on these trucks. I don't really give a shit about it, but, you know, Sam likes it. Um, it's also got the, uh, let's see here, it's the power rear window, so you guys can see here. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, and it doesn't create any wind noise and allows you to get fresh air in the car, too, and it's helpful with the dog. Um, it's also got, which you guys have seen in the previous videos, I'm not going to get out, but it does have the LED bed lights, uh, which are really nice. They get really bright at night, um, uh, so I really like that as well. And it's got the LED lights under the mirrors right here, and the uh, these are also uh, defrostable or whatever, so they're heated. Um, it's got the dimmed mirror, obviously the back here, the garage stuff, but it's got the, uh, the trailer brake control, which you can't get with the 1500s. That's your diesel exhaust brake right there, so you can see. You gotta love it. Um, and that was amazing in the mountains. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but that's really about it. It's got the oh, it's got the uh, parking sensors front and rear um, right here. So we're gonna turn this thing off. Uh, there we go. And so yeah, I think that's about it for amenities. I, like I said, for a truck, it's shocking. You know how much stuff this thing's got in it. So. Um, next up is the diesel exhaust brake. I won't spend much time talking about it. It showed you how it worked, but I think what I liked about that was when we were in the mountains and, uh, and for the folks that haven't been in big mountains, you know, and, and sorry, the Smoky Mountains don't count, but if you haven't been in the Rocky Mountains like Colorado, Wyoming, uh, Utah, etc., then you really don't know what I'm talking about. But if you have, then you get it. 
Um, I lived out there for over six years and uh, rented cars out of college for Enterprise Rent-A-Car. And I can't tell you how many uh, people that have not been out there before that came back with brand new cars, trucks, SUVs, it didn't matter, that it smoked the brakes. And what I mean by that is they're just riding, riding the brake pedal. Um, you know, down the mountain versus using the uh, the engine to slow the vehicle down. So, with the diesel exhaust brake, it has an auto setting, and it's so dope. You just put the cruise control on, and this thing barely touches the brakes going down. Huge six, seven percent grades for four miles. You know, in in the in the Rocky Mountains. So, um, I can't wait to try it out towing. But once again, can't get that with a gas truck. So, let's see here. Next up on the list. And the last one, here's ride quality. So um, we were pretty shocked, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I, I really thought I'd heard, you know, through forums and reading online, you know, how bad the, the 2,500 and 3,500 trucks were, the three quarter and one ton trucks were in terms of ride quality. So um, I was pretty shocked. I know the Dodge is, a, you know, is a little bit different because it has coil spring in the back, uh, in the back, excuse me. Uh, mine does not have air rod, it's coil spring all the way around. Um, but I know Dodge is the only one that does that. I believe everybody else has a leaf spring in the rear, but honestly guys, gals, this thing rode awesome. Sam, who's pregnant as shit, was passed out. We got dual power seats, a bunch of adjustments, heated rear seats, tons, I mean, the, the 115 pound dog literally fit back there, no problem. Um, he can stand up, but um, this thing really is awesome overall. Um, I can't I can't say enough about it um, and how good it rides for a big ass truck. The power, um, the room, you know, for the family, the configurability of the dash right there. I mean, fuck, I got a boost gauge, um, oil pressure or oil temperature gauge. Excuse me, got the time, temperature, uh, range, uh, and, and everything's adjustable. So if you wanted something different in the corners here, all these gauges can be replaced. So it really is, I mean, honestly, just as good as the Jeep. I mean, there's a boost gauge. Uh, I mean, it's it's crazy. So um, I'm going to let you guys go because it looks like this video is running long here. Yeah, we're at 11 minutes, so it's running way long. But I hope you guys have a uh, great day when you're watching this. Uh, once again, I'm going to drop this tonight, which is a Wednesday. Uh, you guys see the next video either Friday or Saturday, and that will be an update on the... Uh, Evo and uh, slash MR2 because the engine will arrive at Adams. Uh, so we'll be up at Adams either Friday or Saturday. So once again, appreciate all the support. Love you guys. We're you know approaching uh, almost 1,100 subscribers uh, on uh, on YouTube. So we should reach that this weekend, and the channel's growing faster than ever. So appreciate it. Love it, and uh, let's blow this bitch up. Check back in. Peace.